Hello there. You can hear me? Yes, we sure can. So this is a poem um, Reverend Bill remembered and requested again. That was one I had read at Renown Street. And the title is Renunciation Abound with Life. The road ahead with forks in direction, being ready to move or sitting still at some cross section. Verily it is said, the publicans and the harlots may enter heaven before, the self-satisfied moralist, religionist, these controllers get through thy door. The road is long, as such it carries stops for elimination. Renunciation and elimination closely chapter together in this relation. Both require that moving on, that necessity of eliminating the old. For renunciation is not an end, rather it proceeds into life to unfold. Both within the microcosm and the macrocosm, thoughts have power. Thoughts need to by, be digested and allowed assimilation for understanding to flower. Praise and thanksgiving can be laxatives to free the mind. Mind health blossoms in letting go of old thoughts, taking on the new and refined. The mind, like a pool of water, stop the inflow, the pool goes on vacation, or worse, stop the outflow, and there be created only slimy stagnation. There needs to be both for the pool as well as for the mind. Thus ties together both denial and affirmation into being combined. Denials are for old race thoughts that their elimination to unpin. Affirmations affirm and allow illumination to then freely form within. With movement onward, flow, understanding, growing to more. Relating to that love and beauty and growth that spirit desires to outpour. Ideas are more than thoughts. They are treasured gifts from spirit's seashore. They are like gems on your pathway, waiting to be picked up to value and adore. With the discernment to distinguish ideas from thoughts, there is no comparing. To honor such and then proceed more, to even engage in idea sharing. Allow, allow from within the flow to open and even spin. For oneself to be lifted up in acknowledging spirit therein. From life comes faith following. The faith to share and build. To join into community with others of like mind. To thus be more fulfilled. To contribute ideas into the strength of gathering. Then that greater number. To thus allow wisdom to foster love, to thus disencumber. To be empowered within, to go further and further to respond. To imagine that better world, calling all such ideas from beyond. Ideas, that is then I am, the I am state one can feel into fruition. Ideas, understanding, gathering, which idea will be Will we feed with our attention? Broadening, gathering, seeking that greater artistic rising into attendance and rallying to find the order for other forms of connective ascendance. With the enthusiasm to stay centered while creating, breaking through into change. Constant change building, hope into growth, that willingness to rearrange, to be more, to connect more, and e even abroad to thus manifest, to know and connect, love here and beyond into that oneness of living life blessed. Our paths were troubled to the degree of contemplation. Renounce the daunting. Let the choice be to feel our change into the beauty of the dawning. Let the beauty of the morning be waiting there for whenever, always on call. Renounce the less, for spirit's rising opportunity 
that only seeks to ever enthrall. From this life, imagine those previous lives, all having some connective unity. Imagine a football field filled with all past families, friends and community. All such memories manifesting with love, choice, seeking to take us higher than before. To renounce those feelings of being less. To know we are ever so much more. Thank you. Thank you, William. Wow. Aren't we fortunate, our poet laureate? And uh, are we allowed to put that up on the website? Good. Okay, so there you go, Wayne. Because I think that'll need to be gone through again. I'll look forward to... to I remember most of it from last time, but uh, when you hear things again, different things resonate with us as we go back over things. So